Hi guys, so I'm going to read Captain Adam number 86, I think it is. Yeah, so this is, a, so I did a double upload. I also uploaded um, Action Comics number 22. But, uh, so Captain Adam, the ghost is back and time merely runs out for the man of the Adam and the darling of darkness before they learn the reason for the fury of the faceless foe. Script Dave Kaler. Pencil Steve Ditko, inks rock a master serio, lettering a machine. So, here, here, okay, here we go. Uh, time noon, place time square, occasion the return of the ghost. What's he doing? Gotta run, I get out of here. Run, help police. Hey, what's going on? I'm not staying to find out. Somebody help me, police. Ha ha ha. Then, just as suddenly as he appeared, the tamer of teleportation fades away. He's disappearing. It was the ghost. Ha 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 ha. And at that same day, further north at exactly noon at New Haven. It's true. The ghost is back. Now to use my new equipment on him. Hope my ed ebony bomb works on him. Ha 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 Good thing filters protect me from the fumes. What? He's even faster than I thought, so he, like, shielded himself from the gas. Instead of a good book, how about curling up with one of my karate blows? Gone. Ow, those books are heavy. The ghost is in two places at once. How? And as the gunner meets Captain Adam at noon in the Pentagon, Hey, Cap, what's that? The ghost is back. I kind of thought he'd show up again. But why in broad daylight? Without uttering a single word, the mastery of molecules dissolves his atomic adversary and puts him back together when he has passed him. Well, what? Where did he go? I gotta get get that thing away from him. Gone. But but where did he go? Um, the answer can be found in a hidden lab under the suburban home of Alec Rice, where perfect. My men should be materializing any second now. Good work, men. I was able to radio control your teleportation beams perfectly. It looked like I was... Or it was that I was in action. Careful with that mini transmitters. Without them, I couldn't see you in action and work with the telebeams. Ha, now let them figure out how I was in three places at once. A few more well-planned appearances and they'll be easy to lead into a trap. I'll be teleporting you in two days. Be available. They can never guess who I really am, because they are too far away when I bring them in my beams. With the ghost devices I stole from Punch and Julie, I'll be able to get all the gold I want. So that was in the last issue, number 85. And with Operation Ghostly Kalyon, I'll be able to destroy Captain Adam and Nightshade in the in the bargain. Next morning, the ghost actions made the headlines and an uproar in the Pentagon. What's he up to? Where will he strike next? What's more important is how we can be in this three places at the same time. And how can we do something to upset that teleportation gizmo of his? Without knowing how the beam works, we can't build the jamming device. He's free to come and go as he pleases. We're helpless. We'll never catch that disappearing demon. Fate helped us the last time. If he slips up this time, we've got to be there when he does. But the ghost isn't the only problem our duo has to worry about. Here we have Abby Ladd, influential lady news hound. So she's a Karen. I thought uh, I'd find you here, bungler. Where? What are you going to do about the ghost? For all your talents, you might as well have the power of flashlight batteries against him. He he, don't laugh. You haven't done any better. You can't catch him either. And if you can't stop him, I'll ask my father to talk to Senator Eden about investigating your department. That super spook, or whatever he is, has got to be stopped. And if you can't do it, the public wants to know why. Whatever that she-cat says, don't let it phase you. We'll just have to wait until he strikes again to stop him. That very night, the ghost is checking the progress of ghostly galleon, ghostly golden galleon. 
No one had ever suspect that the old half-sunken tub held by my crew and some of the most fantastic scientific equipment in the world. And who would look for the ghost to make his next appearance in, at a little resort town such as Cape May? Entering the hold of the old tanker in his own unique way, the ghost greets his cohorts. Good evening, gentlemen. What the... Guess I'll never get used to you coming and going like that. Me either. This machine utilizing the power of the ocean's tides should produce the energy I need to operate my gold-making machine. Through the ages, man has always dreamt of making gold. Now I can do it. I have discovered the secret of literally making gold. Is his inspection over, the ghost enters another part of the ship to test yet another device. Now to see if this is a okay order, or let once I've lured Captain Adam and Nightshade into this force field, it will be the end of them. Who could guess that my being kidnapped by Punch and Julie would turn out to be such a stroke of luck? Thousands of miles away, some other people are very interested in the activities of the ghost. The faceless one is as cruel as ever, and with the devices lost during the last storm, he is very powerful. We'll have to keep careful watch on the laser beam projector, so we'll know every move made by our lost god. The faceless one is still alive. Unbelievable. Days go by. Time and again, Captain Adam and Nightshade meet and battle the ghost, but their fantastic foe just laughs and vanishes, and still he has committed no crime. Desperate, their chief calls him in for another conference. I may be grasping at straws, but I think I found a lead to the ghost's hideout. What? Where? One of our engineers has been picking up a strange pattern on a new radar device each time the ghost appears. And now the Cape May Naval Station says they're picking up the same pattern every evening. Then the ghost may be operating out of Cape May? He must be. But we've never had a run-in with him anywhere near there. I want you two to scout up there. Uh, see what you can dig up. Right, Chief. We're on our way. Racing off into the night, the pair make their plans as they go along. I'll fly on ahead and see if the naval station can pinpoint the location of the patterns for us. I'll check the beaches and dunes to see if there's any unusual activity. Shortly, Captain Adam reaches the base where... Officer Adam, we haven't seen you since you battled Dr. Spectro near here. No time for that. Take me to the radar center. Hurry! Have there been any patterns tonight? Nothing so far, but stick around, we... What, is that it? Same pattern. Want me to pinpoint it for you? It seems to be coming from that sunken tanker at the top of Jersey. Thanks. Look at him go. Good luck, Captain Adam. The ghost is believed to be operating out of a half-sunken tanker at the top of Jersey. Meet you there. I'm on my way. Save some of the action for me. I got to try to catch him by surprise, before he has a chance to use that teleportation bit on me again. Wonder where he's at. Looking for me, Captain Adam? Ghost hunting seems to be your favorite pastime these days. It sure is. Want to try again? I'm back here. Down in the boondocks again, Captain Adam? If I can divert him with an atomic fireball, might just get him off guard. What's that? He's mine. Ugh. Let's face it, Kit Adam. You're no good at playing my games. I always win. Maybe it takes the feminine touch. What the? Never let your guard down in front of a lady, ghost. Now hit the deck. Hey, come back here and fight like a man. Drat, gone again. But I'm waiting for you over here, my dear. Never let it be said that I kept you waiting. And now it looks... Look, I got you too. Looks like I got you in my power. That's how the old cliche goes, doesn't it? If you notice, the force field is draining out your energy. You're trapped and weakening. And when I press a button in the next room, it will start processing the gold out of the ocean's waters. And at the same time, the field will become more powerful and drain your very life out of you. Goodbye and good riddance. But Nightshade still has that special talent, that of being able to change into a shadow. 
Got to see if I can free myself that way. And Captain Adam can't see me change either. It worked. Now to free Captain Adam. Now to revert back to my solid state before he sees me like this. We're both pretty weak from the effects of that field still. But we've got to stop that Midas from succeeding tonight. They pause only a second to catch their breath, then... You take the master, I'll handle the serfs. I'll t get him this time. Wait! You're- what? You're supposed to be dead! Now you can't teleport yourself away? Why should I? Something else will help me get free. In your weakened state, even the simplest weapon can help me. And now you're going dimension hopping, and it won't cost you a cent. I feel like a dropout, but for once it pays. Oof, yo! Hands off, ghost. If he goes, I go too. If you insist, dear lady... Now both of you will visit other worlds together. And suddenly the whole world stops moving. Everyone is frozen in their place. Why doesn't he get it over with? What is he waiting for? Move it all, Move all these mortals to the shore. I'll attend to the faceless one myself. I'll take the costume ones to the shore. Tonight you are returning to take your rightful place in our world, faceless one. What is she talking about? They use the weapons of punch. Where do they come from? Whoever they are, they saved us on their visit to those limbo lands that the ghost sent us before. So, issue number 82. Uh, I'll leave you frozen until we reach the hidden land. And I won't mind as long as I know there's plenty of gold where we're going. When we submerge, the other ship will be towed behind us. None of our inventions will be left behind. Silently, the huge ship vanishes with into the ocean's waters. Nightshade and Captain Adam feel their paralytic state wane as the ship vanishes. I've got to go to that ship and rescue the ghost. They couldn't have gone far. Nothing, not a trace of them. But there's not a vehicle on Earth that can travel that fast. Where could they have vanished to? That's a lot, Captain. Too bad we couldn't include the ghost. This isn't going to look good on our reports. Green-haired women in golden armor. And so another mystery is added to the aurora surrounding the ghost. Will Captain Adam and Nightshade ever see him again? Whatever happens, there are still other dangers that head to keep them busy. Dangers that even now are being plotted. Don't miss the next, next exciting issue of Captain Adam. So, that's the end of that comic. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you could like, comment, or subscribe, that'd be appreciated. Um, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys later.